Rachel Barnes and I'm your Arts and Life Editor at the Daily 49er. Hi, I'm Samantha Diaz, I'm the Managing Editor. Hi, I'm Austin Brumbley, I'm the News Editor. And today we are taking a tour around Long Beach to all of the breweries that we think are cool. So we started at Ambitious Ales, it's in Bixby, it's kind of hidden in some shopping centers, just opened last month actually in February. Um, it's a little small, They kind of, I think they kind of went for like that warehouse feel that a lot of breweries go for, but it's also really bright, so there's a lot of, yeah, there's a huge, there's just all windows on all the walls, it's really nice lighting, lighting in here, with heated lamps. yeah, you can see the brewery tanks in the back. They allow dogs, so that's nice. This dog has been barking the whole time we've been in here. <laughs> um, Alright, so we are finished here at Ambitious Ales. Um, I think for a rating we'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars because there wasn't really much going on. It's a really cool ambiance, but there's not much to do other than just sit around and drink. Um, the choices are a little bit limited, but they do change their menu every week, so that's a really big thing for them. Um, I enjoyed what I drank. Some people didn't enjoy so much, but we're on our way to Smog City Brewery right now. Hey guys, uh, my name is Mia Bradford. I am the assistant design editor at the Daily 49er, and I just wanted to stop by and have some beer with everyone, and we're at Smog City Brewery in Bixby. I got a white peach season. It's, it's sour. Know that beers could be sour, but it's yummy. I like. I, there's a lot of stuff that I'm learning that I didn't know tonight. <laughs> All right, so I got one of their coffee porters. So we'll see. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> it's actually really good though, because sometimes they try and throw in like an extra flavor. Like they had a raspberry one that was awful. So this one. Alright guys, we just finished here at Smog City Brewery and we give this place a 5 out of 5 stars. First, their beer selection is a lot larger than the previous place. They also do have sours available for you to choose from. The overall ambience here is really great. It is an outdoor place, so just be careful. It's a little muddy right now from the rain. But they have a bunch of food places that you can choose from. You can get ramen, you can get pizza and chicken and waffles. It has just a really good environment here. So again, we give this place a 5 out of 5 stars. We highly recommend it. Up next, we're heading to Liberation Brewery. We've been giving high ratings for the first day, but this is my favorite place so far. Like, this is what I usually, this is the kind of brewery that I usually like to go to. They have a lot of games. They have a giant Jenga. The music is bumping. They have Darth Vader painted have, on the wall. I they didn't say they have darts. They have darts. I love darts. They have so nice. darts. Shuffleboard. Yeah. They have shuffleboard. Yeah. They have a lot of art on the walls. I love it. The ambiance here. Plants. Uh -huh. Huge about plants, you know. <laughs> it's a really nice ambiance. Yeah. T-shirt for air sale. Especially they the do have some nice, so some nice photographs of old Long Beach, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. The roller coaster that's no longer here, you know. It's a good yeah, spot. I think this is my favorite one, atmosphere-wise. Yeah. They also wise. have merch that you can buy. So we're standing outside Liberation here. We gave it a solid four out of five. The atmosphere was was fun, yet the crowd was kind of so-so. They had games. They had uh, they had TV or uh, anime on, which was like kind of upbeat. But overall, the beer was kind of like, at least for mine, mine was kind of like bland. Um, yeah, overall, it was. I mean, it's a fun place. I highly recommend visiting it. But a solid four out of five is, like does this place solid. We're at Ten Mile, the last stop of the night. We're in Signal Hill now. We're not in Bixby Knolls anymore. Um, I think my favorite beer was probably the first place that we went to. Um, can't think of the name. Ambitious. Ambitious. Ambitious Ale. That place is pretty good. But as far as the location, the brewery, I think this one is my favorite. It has a really good environment. I think the people here are super friendly. Um, doesn't have as many like things to do, but I think the overall like tone of the, the environment, it's, it's a really it's good really vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is my favorite spot. Um, hey guys, thanks for joining us today. This is our last brewery, like I said. So I think for 10 Mile, we're going to give it a 4 out of 5, just because the beers were really good. They had a really good selection here. Everything that we had, we all really enjoyed. But there wasn't really anything to do other than just drink and talk, which is fine. 
but a lot of the other places we went to had other things to do other than drink. So four out of five, really solid place to go if you're just looking for a really good beer selection. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining us today. We had a lot of fun. I hope this helped you guys get your buzz in Long Beach. Okay, bye. <laughs>